Shout out to the WTC family. We the chosen ones, baby. They feel like their image has been tarnished ever since you've been glowing. But the truth of the matter is, your light exposes their darkness. Let me break it down to your chosen ones. The same people that tried to destroy your image. The same people that tried to destroy your reputation. The same exact people that tried to destroy your name. Guess what? Every time you come into their presence, they feel like that their image has been tarnished. The Bible says, yes, we are in the world, but we are not of the world. And the same people that tried to destroy your image, it backfired on them. And this is why you don't look like what you've been through. And they look like everything that, they, they, that they've been through. Let me tell you something. What's done in the dark will soon come to the light. Understand what I'm saying? What you put in your body is going to come out. Chosen ones, you glowing. A lot of people don't realize what it takes in order for you to get the glow. And it's not lotion. Let me tell you something. You eating right. You reading your word. You living right. Understand what I'm saying? You in your prayer closet. You taking your spiritual baths. You done separated yourself from the world. You done put God first in everything that you do. So, of course, God going to shine his light through you. And people think it's on you, but it's not on you. It's on the inside of you. And when it's on the inside of you, it's going to work its way on the outside of you. Oh, they see the change, chosen ones. These people are looking pale. These people are looking dark. Because they are out there living in that world full of sin. Understand what I'm saying? The devil got them at, at his fingertips right now. So, of course, their image is going to be tarnished. I don't know if you noticed lately, chosen ones, but people are starting to look like what they actually go through. People don't believe in God anymore like you, chosen ones. People are not putting their trust in God anymore. Let me tell you something. Do what you got to keep doing to keep on elevating, chosen ones. Do what you got to do to keep on glowing. Do what you got to do to keep on getting God's glory over your life. The anointing is, is, is flowing from the crowns of your heads to the very soles of your feet. And these people, even though they can't stand you, guess what? They can't touch you because you shining bright like a diamond. So let me tell you something, chosen ones. These people don't even look the same anymore. Have you ever walked into somebody's presence and you look at them and you like, not only they lost weight, but they got darker. And you can just feel those unclean spirits on people. I want to talk about unclean spirits today. And you wonder why when you go into certain people's presence, why your Holy Spirit disturbs their demons on the inside of them? Why do your Holy Spirit disturb their unclean spirits on the inside of them? They don't take spiritual baths. You'd be surprised at how people wake up. People wake up on the wrong side of the bed without even getting on their bending knees and say, Lord, I just want to thank you for another day. Lord, whatever you want me to do for you today, Lord, I'm going to do it. Lord, I want you to change my heart, my mind, and my spirit today. Lord, I need you to fill me up. Fill me up until I can't want anymore. Lord, I need you to fill me up with your grace and your mercy, with your Holy Spirit. Fill me up, Lord. People are not waking up saying that early in the morning. But look at you, chosen ones. You're in your prayer closet the minute you open your eyes. You're giving reverence to the Most High God because guess what? If it had not been for him who was on your side, we wouldn't even be here to this day. Take a real good look at yourself, chosen ones. You don't even look like what you've been through. And people can't stand you because the minute you walk into their presence, guess what? You're looking better than everybody that's in the room. You survive all these traps that they set you for. They can't believe it. And this is why they feel like their image has been tarnished. No, your image has been completely destroyed. Ain't no feeling like it just, it is what it is. Because I'm seeing right through these people. I'm looking at them. Let me tell you something. What the devil meant for evil, God turned it around for your good. All that trash talk, guess what it did? It went in your favor. 
all that gossiping, guess what? It went in your favor. Let me tell you something. Be careful how you treat the chosen ones. Be careful how you mishandled and how you handle people, chosen ones. Because guess what? They don't even know they was entertaining an angel unaware. They thought you was a nobody. Hey Amen. We, we might have made mistakes in our past children. We might have bumped our heads. But let me tell you something. Thanks be unto God who gave us another opportunity to get our lives right. Thanks be unto God who gave us another opportunity to, for us to get a new name and a new image. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below. And said, Lord, I just want to say thank you for my new image. I thank you for my new name. I thank you for my new walk. I thank you for my new talk. I thank you for new beginnings because all former things are passed away. I thank you, Father God, that I don't look like what I've been through. You never needed these people, chosen ones. They needed you. They needed your anointing. They needed your prayers. And you won't even ask your people for much. Understand what I'm saying? You have to understand, chosen ones, you are from a royal priesthood. You got to understand, chosen ones, you got that royal priesthood mentality. Your character is your currency. You ask God to renew the right spirit within you every single day. You ask God, amen, to let this mind be in Christ Jesus every single day. And people got the nerve to be big mad at you because you are glowing. Your glow up is making these karmic nervous. They might as well be nervous. Go run in the corner and, 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 and go hide in the corner if you that nervous. Because I'm on a battlefield fighting for Jesus. You might as well stand in that corner and be intimidated because you're not going to stop my shine. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say you might as well be nervous because you're not going to dim my light. You might as well be intimidated by my oil because guess what? This anointing that God has given me, guess what? The world didn't give it to me and the world sure enough ain't going to take it away. This glow up that God has given me, the world didn't give it to me and the world sure enough ain't going to take it away. This is why when you go into people's presence, chosen ones, thank you, Holy Spirit, they are afraid to love you. When you go into people's presence, have you noticed? They are afraid to give you a compliment. When Have you noticed when you go into people's presence, they are afraid to show you any kind of love because of the simple fact their image have been destroyed. People get around you, guess what? You make people want to do better. You make people want to turn their life over to Jesus because guess what? You glowing on the, on the inside on out. People know it. They can feel it. They see it. And this is why people don't even congratulate you. This is why people, hey man, they're afraid to give you a hug. They're afraid to give you a handshake. You wonder why you're feeling certain spirits when you go around people. It's because they have unclean spirits on them. Pay attention to the company you keep, chosen ones, and pay attention to the company that they keep. Because negative energy is contagious. These spirits are contagious. Unclean spirits will jump on you if you allow it to. That's why you have to be renewed by the transferring of your mind and you have to be renewed by your spirit. You got to ask God every single day, Lord, I need you to renew my spirit before I go into these people's presence. Lord, I know they, they image is, is, is tarnished. They image is destroyed. But Lord, I thank you for making me the diamond in the rough. Lord, keep me. So whatever you do in chosen ones, don't you stop doing it because greater is he that is in you than he that is of this world. And they fell to realize it's not on you. It's on the inside of you. So keep, keep on glowing and keep on doing you.